Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. But after three days of If you believe the TV ads, then there's no good options this election cycle. Alex Sink, recklessly liberal. Today, we open the fraud file of Rick Scott. For the past three months, politicians have dominated the commercial breaks. Republicans calling Democrats tax and spend liberals. Aussie's a financial train wreck for taxpayers. Democrats accusing Republicans of cronyism. Atwater's busy helping his friends and wasting our tax dollars. Leon County Supervisor of Elections Ion Sancho has had enough of the mudslinging. He's waging a TV war on negative ads. Don't let negative ads and their appeal to emotion and not reason manipulate you into not voting this November 2nd. Sancho says the goal of negative ads is to keep your opponent's supporters from voting. It's important, I think, for people to recognize they're being manipulated by candidates who don't want them to vote. Fueling all the political mudslinging is tens of millions of dollars. This has already been one of the most expensive elections in Florida's history, and the fundraising and spending aren't over yet. Voters say the money and the lies are out of control. There are too many press pressing issues that need to be addressed other than nitpicking and trying to make fun of people. Voters ask for that because they don't do their homework and they don't hold the feet to the fire and they believe whatever they're told and that's who they vote for. By the time the ads stop running and a winner is declared, the damage has already been done and voters end up with representatives that at best have a perception problem. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.